Alright, today I'm going to continue my project of uh, trying to put in a backup camera. I, last time I changed the navigation system in this 2013 Ford Escape and today I'm going to try to install the backup camera. It's a little more complicated than the other because the instructions are not specific to my car. They're kind of generic and they're not that good. <laughs> so I'm going to do the best I can. I've never done this before. Let's give it a try. Okay, so this is what I'm dealing with. Uh, so here's the camera that mounts on the license plate. And uh, uh, you can see from the black and red lines, it needs power. This is the tricky part. I've got to hook this into uh, the fuse box there it just happens to be a fuse box right here in the back with a lot of empty spaces here so I can plug in uh, pretty easily there was this thing I was able to find at the auto parts store it's a special little plug that allows me to plug right into here but I don't know if it goes up or down and uh, I'll have to try uh, I've got my my handy dandy little voltmeter here We'll put that on it to um, see if we can figure out what's positive, what's negative. And then, uh, yeah, so I've got basically just a general wiring diagram. So I'm going to have to take apart the whole back door here. And uh, it'll mount right on the license plate there. And then fish the wires through this and it's going to come up and go through one of these cables up here to get into the interior and take the interior apart run a cable over to there then we get this really long cable that uh, will run all the way up to the front of the car yeah and and that'll plug in so apparently this wire here 90 percent of the cars they say this is not necessary so i hope it's not necessary here um that that thing tells the camera to turn on uh but since this is a newer car i, I doubt we'll need that so let's give it a try all right so it looks like the first thing i've got to do is take this and just handle off uh the back door popped off easy now there's a few screws in there Okay, handle's off now, so that should allow me to pull this whole back part off the door here. Okay, so I got the back of the door off. All I had to do was just unplug this uh, little thing that goes to the back door switch to close the door. And now I can get at all the wiring and, and whatnot here and uh, fish this wire through. And I have a little helper now, too. Yep. The camera is going to mount it here on the back license plate, so that means I got to take off this plastic thing here so I can fish the wire through. This isn't going very well. I removed the screws on the inside, and there's special latches in there, and uh, this thing should just pop right off. But I'm using my little trim removers here uh, to try and keep from damaging the trim, and it just just doesn't want to come off. And I, gosh, I don't want to manhandle this, so I'll break it in half. Okay, I figured out the problem. I was I was trying to take out screws of something down here. It's very easy to get disoriented when the uh, door's upside down. So there's actually four screws. This should just pop right off right now. There we go. Should be that easy. All right, super duper. Okay, now I got to make a new hole for the wiring. I'll probably put it in somewhere over here. Okay, so I made a little hole. Use a little bit of clear spray paint here to make sure that it stays rust free. And I also made a little tiny semicircular hole here for the wire from the camera to uh, enter the plastic. Did you want to help? It's because it's about engineering. And why do you want to learn about engineering? I want to learn how things work. That's great. All right, I'll see if I can find some things that you can help me with on this project. All right, so we got Camille installing the license plate and the camera now because she's an aspiring engineer. Right, Camille? Yeah. I just realized that my, my cable is kind of short here, so I had to make this hole here a little bit bigger so that I can fit this thing right through in there. Uh, and that'll give me a little extra cable to get down to the to the fuse box. So I said, oh, that's done. Yeah. Break paint that again. Hey, right, let that dry up. What happened? It got stuck in the 
stuck in here. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> I fished the wire through, and uh, because the wires will rub against the sheet metal, that will eventually cause them to short out. I covered the whole thing in a, a big glob of uh, silicone glue, uh, so that should protect it. So you can see the wire, the camera wire comes over here. I started using these zip ties to uh, attach that to the current cable. And I've got it all the way over here. Now I've got the next tough problem. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, I've got to fish that through this this flexible thing here that connects the door to the uh, the cables in the door to the rest of the car. I don't know how that's going to happen. This may not be as bad as I thought. I just flipped, popped the, the top and the bottom of these and you see the cable going through. I might be able to fish it through pretty easily. Don't get it on your boots. Uh, what? You used all the glue? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, good thing I got, like, tons and tons of that glue. Hey, look at that. I am just <laughs> thrilled and amazed how easy that was to fish through there. I thought that was going to be a huge problem. All right, so now i got to take out this stuff up here and fish it back down, get it down to the, uh, to the fuse box. Things are going really well so far, but before going any further, I want to try and figure out how to uh, wire this thing into the fuse box. Uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Why is this wiggly? <laughs> it's so wiggly and it fell off. This little device will get me power from the uh, from the fuse box. It'll get me from positive the red but now I need negative which is the grounding to the frame of the car so I put a screw into the car ran a ran a wire back down to here and I'll, I'll hook that up to the it'll be the negative to the camera so <laughs> we lost our good weather Camille's filming here I'm gonna try to check the voltage here All right. so can you see the number on there Camille? yep so I'm gonna check this Thing in the fuse box, and uh, I will touch it to my ground wire here. And we got we're getting like 14.6, just a 14.7 volts. Right. And so I know which one to hook it up to now. Okay, slight change of plan. I was going to use this little connector here to go into the fuse box, but it just doesn't fit. Uh, so I'm going to use a different type of fuse, and uh, uh, it's kind of an inline fuse. And I'm going to use this little connector here that'll get me inside the fuse box to connect all the wires up. Oh, Camille's going to love this. We're going to put a butt splice in here. <laughs> so I think I might wait till tomorrow so I can have Camille do the butt splices. All right, so I was able to tap into the. Um, fuse box with this little plug here and this is my inline fuse and hooked it up to my wires so all I have to do now is just tuck this back in here and uh, and we are good to go yeah, there we go and Business. And there we are. All right, so I uh, also ran in that wire, uh, the video cable, up through here, along there, and there's this really soft rubber thing. So it took only just a few minutes to get it all the way up to the front, and you can see it sticking out up there, close to the front, where the wire comes out under the dash there, and uh, I just went up and plugged it into. Um, where it's supposed to be here in the console to test it and it works fine so now I'm gonna try and fish it through a hole here in the uh, in the dash with a special tool so I've got this uh, this little tool here that has a little grabber thing on the end of it and I'm gonna try to 
pull the uh, cable up through that. Okay, wasn't that easy? I had to take this thing off again. But I was able to get my uh, little unit down here. You can see it down there at the bottom. So I will put my cable in that and use that to pull it up. Alright, I'm able to uh, latch on to it there. Should be able to pull this right up through the dash now. Let's see. Come on. Okay, now oh, I get that through the dash. Fantastic. Okay, so there we have it all back together. Let's put it in the reverse. And there is our backup video. Sweet.